Robin Higgins, and this is How is the Mole Helpful in Chemistry? All right, so the mole is helpful in chemistry because it kind of gives us a way to wrap our minds around how many atoms and molecules we're actually dealing with. And a really good analogy for the mole is the dozen. So if I say that I have 12 eggs, that's the same as saying I have one dozen eggs. And this is helpful because sometimes you have too many eggs and you don't wanna say, I have 36 eggs. You can just say, I have three dozen. And so it just makes it easier. And this is exactly what the mole does, except if I was gonna say that I have one mole of eggs, it would mean that I had 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd eggs. So way more, like the world's supply of eggs, billions and trillions of eggs. And so this is not useful for eggs, but it's really useful for things like atoms and molecules. And so remember that the mole is just like a dozen. It's just a word we use to represent a certain number of things. It doesn't have to be atoms or molecules, but that's what it's useful for. So this is really nice because let's say I have 18 grams of water and I want to know how many atoms or molecules I have in this 18 grams. Well, water's molecular mass is 18 grams per mole, which means that I have 18 grams, I have one mole. And now I know, since I have one mole, that I'm going to have 6.022 E23H2O molecules. And so this is much easier than constantly referring it to by the number. And this number is called Avogadro's number. He invented it. And so I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Why the Mole is Helpful in Chemistry. Mm -hmm.